Also, we're following breaking news out of Cobb County where there's a SWAT situation at a hotel. This happening in the Armada Inn on South Cobb Drive. Sky Fox 5 was just over this scene as well. You can see a number of law enforcement officers on the scene there. Fox 5's Portia Bruner joins us live from that scene tonight. Portia, this started when deputies tried to serve a warrant there, we understand. Yeah, that is our understanding of what happened. I spoke to a uh, detective from Douglas County Sheriff's Office earlier today. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see uh, what's going on here as I describe what we have learned. This started with uh, deputies trying to issue a warrant out of Douglas County, out of the city of Douglasville Police Department, trying to issue a warrant. Uh, they asked for help from Cobb County Sheriff's deputies just as backup, got here and said the man barricaded himself. At that point, what is now a six hour standoff began. You can see several deputies, uh, several members of the SWAT team now making their way around. I can tell you uh, the area off of 285 South Cobb Drive, um, not blocked, but certainly a very heavy police presence. We're on the other side of the uh, hotel here. I'm going to step out the way just so our photographer can get a better view and follow the action there. Uh, but I can also tell you that several residents of the Aramda Inn have been evacuated. And they were told uh, sort of to one by one leave their rooms, uh, getting a call from management and then being met by deputies at the door. Here's one account from a woman, uh, a pregnant young lady, who said the whole ordeal was very unsettling. Okay, we will get that sound to you a little bit later on. In the meantime, you can see what's happening here. It looks as if the uh, SWAT team members are going to make some sort of an entry. We see that there was some sort of a note at the door there that we're focused on, uh, but also trying to keep a safe distance as we sort of monitor this situation. Uh, this has been uh, intense is one way to describe it, but there's never been any real sense of hysteria. No people running or screaming, no shots fired, no flashbangs or anything like that. A very calm and orderly situation suspect. here, but uh, we see a suspect coming out. It looks like a suspect may be coming out of the door now. There we see a man with no shirt. Looks like he's being taken into custody. Uh, he may end up going into that. Uh, looks like he's going into the, either the Cobb County's deputy's vehicle or perhaps the, yeah, he's going to go into the Douglas County deputy vehicle because that's where the warrants initially originated. Uh, the detective I spoke to earlier today said they were not going to be releasing this man's name until the warrant was actually served. They say this, in fact, was just a misdemeanor warrant, but they would not uh, describe in any detail what that warrant was for because they wanted to see how all of this came to an end. You can see the man there being given some water. And it appears that he is unharmed, just taking some water in. We'll get some more information and uh, bring you the details of what we know coming up tonight on Fox 5 News at 5 and 6. We're right. reporting live in Douglas County. Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Okay, thank you so much for that live report, Portia. Well, new at 5, the